order up more warm uh, weather, but uh, Drew Reeves in now with the forecast doesn't sound like that's going to happen this weekend. No, Nadine, <laughs> that is certainly not going to happen, but you can take a live look over downtown Spokane right now. It's gorgeous at the moment. Temperatures into the upper 70s. We're seeing those sunny skies, but that is not going to be sticking around a whole lot longer here, so get out and enjoy it while you can. Tonight, we have an overnight low of 53 degrees and storms are moving in. We are going to be seeing showers this evening, possible thunderstorms as well. Winds out of the southwest 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then tomorrow, we're barely warming up. We're warming to a high of 56 degrees. We're going to be seeing rain for a whole lot of the day tomorrow and breezy conditions. Winds out of the southwest 5 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Those winds are going to pick up a little bit into Sunday as well with gusts nearer to 30 to 35 miles an hour for that day. Right now, though, we are still nice, 77 degrees in Spokane, partly cloudy conditions, winds out of the southwest, 13 miles an hour, 78 degrees and sunny in Coeur d'Alene, winds out of the south, 7 miles an hour, but we have a whole lot of wet weather that is moving into the inland northwest, a cold front bringing, uh, coming with it that is bringing those much cooler temperatures over the next couple of days. We'll also likely be seeing some thunderstorms this evening. Those thunderstorms going to be stretching from about eastern Oregon into eastern Washington and much of the Idaho panhandle. The threat for those thunderstorms is going to last from about 8 to 11 o'clock this evening, but we still have the chance of seeing some storms overnight as well. Taking a look at our extended forecast, you can see about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight in Spokane is when we'll start to see that wet weather, and that is just going to last overnight and into the day tomorrow, starting the morning with that rain, especially into the Idaho panhandle, but even into the Spokane area and a lot of eastern Washington still going to be experiencing that rain through the day tomorrow. Looks like into the evening we're getting just some more isolated uh, showers into the later hours, but still going to be seeing some wet weather sticking around and then into Sunday likely as well. And then those much cooler temperatures. Take a look at that tomorrow, 56 degrees. This is close to 20 degrees below our average for this time of year. And almost every day we're going to be just uh, at least a little bit below average besides Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday above average, Thursday right at our average, but then we dip down a little bit again. Our lows this evening are going to be into the lower to mid-50s for much of the region. 55 in the Valley, 53 in Coeur d'Alene, 54 in Moses Lake, 56 degrees in Wenatchee, and then our highs tomorrow are almost the same. Mid-50s to lower 60s around the region, 56 in the Valley and Coeur d'Alene, though Moses Lake, 66 degrees, 69 in Wenatchee, 68 in Omec, but 56 in Deer Park, 60 degrees in Sandpoint, 66 in Bonners Ferry. Sunday, only 59 degrees there. Cloudy as well, seeing some showers, possibly some thunderstorms that day. Then we'll dry out as we head into the work week. 77 on Wednesday, going to be our warmest day. But then it looks like we have the chance of seeing some showers Thursday and Friday returning. Hopefully those will stick into the mountains mm -hmm. and we won't see them down in the valleys, but there is still wow. that threat. Look at that. Temperatures all over the place. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so enjoy what you can. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. Thanks a lot, yeah. Drew.